I want to talk about another sword fighting game because this was a game that right after we did Vampire Masquerade that I was t- starting to talk about, and that was Arashi. Arashi Castle of Sin, the final cut. Now, Arashi was originally released on the PlayStation VR 1, and it was a really, really good game. You're a samurai. You have a pet wolf, you know, who can will attack for you. This is me- very much like a Tenchu style game, if you guys know that game, Tenchu the Flat Game. It's a lot about stealth, movement in the shadows. If you openly attack, you will get swarmed by a lot of enemies and you'll probably end up dying. But if you attack correctly from different areas, stay in stealth or, you know, be quiet or shoot an arrow, you know, you can really battle through the game. And I think this is definitely one of the games that said if you can move through the environment without getting any kills and get to your objective, then, you know, you get you get like a trophy or bonuses. Todd, let's take a little quick look at a, a trailer for Arashi Castles of Sin, the final cut. この世には二つの世界。そしてもう一つは古くから語り継がれる闇の世界。わしに引き抜くせ。我々の that is bad. It's a bad. That looks experience. pretty Man. cool. <laughs> I really Wait, hope. I didn't know I the dog really was played with you. Did they have the dog in the last? Yeah, the last game. Yeah, well, were you gonna say the last game? But I didn't no, know I was it was gonna... still part of it. That's I, awesome. I just hope it's it's it doesn't have like green hell launch junk. No. Junk. So I can tell you this. I, I played the demo. It's an extensive demo at Gamescom. Guys, Skydance is publishing this game. So oh, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Good. So Endeavor One is still the developer. They made it on the PlayStation VR 1. They are moving it to PlayStation <laughs> VR 2 with the backing and help of Skydance Interactive, the, de- the developers of Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. They are fully behind this. It You can feel it. The demo I played is extremely polished. We talked to this with Almir a little bit. The hit detection the collision feels right the battles are done properly one of the problems with arashi on playstation vr1 was there was hit detection issues when the game first launched and you know there was some jank and no part of the demo did i see that and i had played a couple of different you know levels in the demo it was number one looks amazing in the playstation vr2 headset haptics and the controller was, ha- was, was there head haptics too absolutely nice. the movement is great you know you get beyond having those move controllers of the playstation vr1 you get actual right. touch controllers like with the orb controllers it's super good the combat feels strong haru your dog your wolf is freaking awesome you can pet him and like feel the haptics when you're petting him no I mean, way cool it's just done extremely well it looks beautiful especially with the oled i mean a lot of this game is done at night and you have these you know cinematic you know torch lit environments with those dark oled you know blacks that you get and colors it's awesome looking i'm really 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 looking forward to this game now like i didn't finish arashi on playstation vr1 i believe i'll probably end up finishing it here the again the battles feel great using the bow sometimes the bow can get a little wonky with like uh, playstation vr2 games because the occlusion and you know pulling the bow back or by the headset where the cameras are in the headset if you lose the tracking didn't have any issues with that here the bow felt great trying to get to different spots with the grappling hook to where you can get like above the enemies to attack silent Violently. You know, if you sneak up on enemies, one shot kill. You got a katana, man. You're one shot killing these enemies. If you don't and they see you, they will swarm around you. And a lot about blocking, you cannot just go up there and just like start 
No, you can't, man. You will die. Right. When you're in a battle with an enemy, a front on battle with an enemy, it's a lot about parrying, moving backwards away, coming into attack, drawing away. You have to be methodical when you're battling them. That's why the stealth part is so important. That's cool. Putting out torches, you know, so you can move in the darkness. Under shadows in the dark. Shadows. I mean, so yeah. this is definitely the game then that had that trophy or, you know, some sort of benefit to achievement. Yeah, thanks. The, to not the killing, yeah. To not killing people and sneaking your way through, yeah. It might end up being both. I just want to ask Fast Travel if that's mm -hmm. something too, but it might end up being both. question from chat from MindJive. Is there any word on an upgrade path from PSVR version of Rashi? Free, uh, an upgrade fee, or is it full price, or do you know? So I did ask if they didn't have any answers for me as of yet. Sure, we'll be hearing that sometime soon, but nothing that they could give me definitive there. But I can tell you it is coming to both PC VR and Quest 2 standalone as well. 